airports are hectic. And it doesn't look any better from the pig's perspective. Is the job here pure stress for Lilu, or does she enjoy it? Nine o'clock in the morning at San Francisco Airport. It's the start of the shift for the little piggy lady Lilu. Her trademark? Pink varnish nails and a pink tutu. Sure, a pig at the airport is conspicuous anyway, but this way she attracts even more attention. So we are here as part of the Wet Brigade uh, program. This is an animal assisted therapy program where we come to the airport and we interact okay. with the travelers, uh, some of the distressed travelers. Once a month, Tatiana, Danilova and Lilu are at the airport. The IT project manager doesn't get any money for doing this, she just wants to help. walking around the terminal and we interact with people that choose to interact with us. Uh, they can pet her, they can take a photo of her and she just brings a lot of smiles and joy to people. So it's therapy. We want to see exactly how this works and of course find out how Lilu feels about it. There's a WAG brigade at 30 US airports. So far only dogs have been used to distract people from the stress of traveling. Lilu has been doing it for a few months now with great success. Good way to kill time in the airport. Lilu <laughs> didn't become a therapy pig just like that. We are got certified through animals assisted therapy program. I had to do a lot of work with her for obedience training as well as some other training. And then we started visiting SFO starting in October for a mass therapy, international mass therapy. Delays, hectic, fear of flying. There are lots of reasons for stress at airports, and animals are ideal for reducing it. It's been scientifically proven that contact with animals boosts the production of happiness hormones and lowers cortisol levels. In other words, it reduces stress. Incidentally, Lilou's patients also include flight crews. That's perfect, I'm stressed oh, right now, so she's really yeah, it for <laughs> It actually works. Lilu makes people happy, but she is and remains an animal, and entertaining people in a pink tutu can't really be considered a normal activity for a pig. However, Lilu is no ordinary pig. Yes, good girl. Where they're more like a, a pet, so I think they're meant to be kind of socialized, and, and it's not like you're bringing a pig out from the farm, and, and she's more of a pet. Like many other miniature pigs, Lilu is not kept as a farm animal. She's used to close contact with humans, but this is quite a crowd. I definitely watch for her wagging of the tail. If she wags her tail, she pretty much enjoys it. And if she does get overwhelmed, then we take a little break, and then we recoup, and then we continue the experience. Yes. Tatiana doesn't force Lilu to do anything. In fact, pigs are perfect for therapy work. They quickly gain trust and distract people very well. Performing little tricks stimulate these clever animals. Their average intelligence can be compared to the cognitive abilities of a two-year-old child. But the tricks require a lot of energy. She must be tired. I don't know how long she's been here, but you think she'd be tired and had enough at some point. After an hour and a half, they call it a day. Besides the airport, Lilou visits hospitals and old people's homes once or twice a month, with the same positive effect. Though other animals are not always quite so impressed. <laughs> we were walking the other day with uh, Oliver in the airport. And a lady, a girl had her flight delayed, she comes up and she started petting him and she goes, that's what I needed and I said, and then I saw the, a couple other dogs and the pig, it just brings smiles to people's faces, so it's good. After a long day's work comes the call of nature. Tatiana walks her pig at least twice a day. Lilu is house trained and, as a well-bred city pig, uses a kind of litter tray at home. That's what we want to see now. Uh, not the litter box, Lilu's home. Contrary to all prejudices, pigs are very clean animals. They only have mud baths to protect their skin from insects and the sun. Shush. 
she loves to be scratched and rubbed. Because pink skin is actually quite dry, so they do love to be scratched. The absolute crowning glory, extensive belly scratching. Apart from her little reward snacks, Lilou is fed three times a day. She does get uh, her pig pellets. This is the mini pig food that I buy at a special store, which is an hour away. Uh, you're okay, Lilou. And then I mix it with different other vegetables, and I usually get her organic food. But something is bothering Lilou. Is she doing this because she's nervous? She's thinking you're slowing me down and you're going to take away her food. No? No? Quiet. Good. You're okay. Come on. Sit and wait. Good. Good girl. Tatiana did two months of intensive research before she bought Lilu. Eat. Good girl. Lilou would like to eat all the time. Her feeling of satiety sets in very late. That's why Tatiana makes sure that she doesn't eat too much. Otherwise, at some point, all this won't fit anymore. She went to the airport the first time wearing this one, actually. Matching headdresses for every occasion. Lilou has no problems with the costumes. Otherwise, she would just shake them off. I do understand that she's an animal, of course, um, but she's my baby. She's, she's my animal baby. Our impression is that Lilou the airport pig and the people who have anything to do with her couldn't be happier together.